Hi everybody, you are back in my kitchen and I am making an apple coffee cake. Um, I got some apples from this, uh, this young lady at my job. She went apple picking. Thank you, Dory. She gave me a few apples and I took them, I cut them up, and my apples are here. I cut these apples up. I've been tasting on them. They're pretty good, Dory. Thank you. Uh, what I'm doing, what I did already, Excuse me. I'm good. What I did is I put sugar and butter in this in my um, in my kitchen aid, and then I'm, I already creamed it. I also added two eggs in there and some and some vanilla, vanilla and a little almond flavor in there, and I beat it up just to you know just for time's sake. I, I beat it and creamed it all up and it's ready actually for the next step. So um, I actually, you know, scraped the bowl down so you guys can see. You see what it looks like? It looks like cream and that's good. It's very good. So up she go. The next thing is I have flour in this bowl. I have um, bacon. Soda, a baking powder in this bowl. I have baking soda in this bowl. I have uh, some ground cinnamon in this bowl. I have a little teaspoon of salt in this bowl. And I also have some apple bake seasoning in this bowl. And I took that now and I am stirring it up. It's wonderful. Stir that up. And then the next step comes. The next step is to put most of it in the bowl, leave about a third, don't leave about a third of it, but most of it's in this bowl, leave about one third, that's good enough, leave the rest. I'm going to uh, take some milk, I have my milk here, it's one and a quarter cup, I'm going to put this milk, I put most of the milk in there, some of the milk. And then I'm going to let it go. It gets loud in here. That's one of the reasons why I want to mix this. I have to see if I can find a kitchen aid that's not this loud. So if anybody knows of a kitchen aid that's not as loud as this thing, please let me know. I appreciate it. So I'm going to let it go slowly at first. While that's going on, I am going to take my apples and I'm going to put my apples in the rest of, of the uh, flour mixture. So the apples are in here. I'm just going to mix them around so that they, you know, stick pretty good, stick well. Put it right up in here. See? So you coat up these apples pretty good. Make sure they're all all good and coated. And that's what we got right here. I'm going to turn it on a little faster so it can really mix. Let that go for another minute or so. Meanwhile, I have in this bowl some brown sugar and some granulated sugar and uh, some cinnamon. Some cinnamon and some um, apple bake. And what I'm going to do is take some cold butter, put the butter in, and I'm going to dice it up in here with this. I want to crumb it all up so it can have a crumble. I'm going to make a little crumble for this while that's going on. So you really need cold butter when you do this thing. Get it all in here. 
Now, I don't have the young wrist like I used to, so it's going to take me a second to squish it in here and get it all crumbly. But I can do it. I can do it. So I cut it in with this pie cutter, dough cutter. There it go. It's in there. It's in pretty well. Next thing I'm going to do, stop, my, stop this. I'm going to bring it down. And I'm going to put in these apples. I'm going to put them all the rest of the apples in here. This full of apples. This should be really, really good. I've made this before too and it's really good. So I'll just get this in. I'll leave the recipe at the bottom of this at the bottom of this uh, video. If you in case you want to know what I actually put in here. I'm gonna bring it back up. I'm going to stir it again, slowly, so she don't go everywhere. Okay, she's getting mixed up. I'm going to put the rest of my milk in here. Yeah, there she goes. I'll let it go around for about another minute. So there's apples all through this cake, which is a great, great thing. I'm going to move this out my way. Now, that's pretty good. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to take her off. I think she's ready. I'll take her out. Get my mixer out. Put her someplace safe. And taking her off the mixer right now. And I got my spoon. Got my spurtle right here. I got my spurtle. And I'm going to move this a little bit so you can actually see into the bowl. Move it right in, stirring it up, get everything in. This is also a cake that Soji likes. Soji, you better come get some, <laughs> cause it'll be gone. He loves this cake. I made this years ago, and he loves this cake. But Soji, I'm waiting for you. And I'm going, here's my nine by 13 pan. I am going to put this batter in this pan. It's sprayed with the uh, um, the baking spray. Got it all sprayed in there. I'll put it in there. Now the hardest part of this book, of this recipe is uh, peeling, peeling the uh, apples and, and cutting it up. Everything else is really, really, really pretty easy. You know, any, and that's not hard. It's just, you know, it's a pain. It's not hard. I don't like cutting things up either. That was my mother's job. <laughs> I don't like doing that part. But you do what you got to do. All right. So, got it in. Spread it out. It's all spread out. Nice and even. As even as I can get it. You got this. Yes. Even as I can get this, it's, it's done. It's in. And now I'm going to take my crumb, crumble, which you don't have to do, but I'm going to do. I'm going to add it. coffee cake light. Okay. What I'm doing is I'm spreading the crumble all on the top, just like coffee cake. Put that all on there. This is so good, boy. I really don't need this in the house. This is so good. 
have some of this with a cup of coffee and use that for the day. It is the fall, so it's warm today here in New York. It's 80 degrees in New York. And I got the nerve to turn the oven on. <laughs> but my oven's been on all day, so I might as well keep it on and finish it up. Okay. My oven is set at... Cut you. Okay. So my oven is set at um, 375 degrees. And I'm going to keep it in here for about 40, 45 minutes. Check it to see if it's done. And then we'll be done. I'll show you what it looks like when we come back. Okay. Bye. Hello, everybody. You are back in my kitchen. And I may look a little tired. That's because I am. I did three videos today. I'm trying to get them done so I can have some in the caught for you guys but today what I'm worked what I'm finishing up is this apple coffee cake and it looks good it is done it has to cool off so I'm not gonna taste it I'll show you a picture of it after I cut it and after it cools off and uh, I thank you guys and you all have been really really good to me and I love you all and have a great Sunday have a great fall have a great holiday okay Bye-bye.